it's part two of our Tessa Patch video, working on those straight shapes. So this is the one that we're going to be working on, which is the, the cat shape or one of our cat shapes. And you can see when they're put together, they go together absolutely perfectly. There's no gaps and it's a completely tessellated pattern, which is the right way up and upside down all at the same time. So to get to this stage, you need to start attaching those together. Lots of our shapes will work the same way. You need to attach them into sets and then kind of build them up into rows or columns. So with the cats, you actually attach them into pairs first because that's the most difficult stitch and you need the most movement at this point. Once you get them into pairs, it's quite easy to attach them together. So to get them into pairs, start at the tail, work your way along and down and it's the same way as you do any pa English paper piecing. So if I've just stitched along the ear there, I've just folded it so it's flat, so I've got a nice, simple, straight line to go at and then I will fold it back out. Look for my next line, which is this one here, and I'm going to fold that flat again. I'm just going to tighten up those threads while I was moving it. And I'm using, uh, I'm using a black thread here just so you guys can see what I'm doing, but I would normally use something that coordinates a little better. So I'm just using a whip stitch over the top there to attach those together. Do them as pairs, as I said, first. And then once you've got all your pairs together, you can attach those pairs into, uh, into columns. And then you can attach those columns together because what you'll find is you've got a really easy stitch then in that you've only got those nice straight edges to do. So that will then build up. There you go and you build further and further. If you're making it into a cushion or something you're gonna cut down, you've got two options. You can either add more shapes than you need all the way around, or you can cut part shapes to, to fill in the little gaps that you might have on the, on the sides. So I hope you enjoy your test patch shapes and come back to us for more videos about how to do curved ones.